Aloha. Yeah, what language is that? Hawaiian, you're right. Very good. Okay, today our story is called Snippets. Oh, this cord is getting in my way, sorry. Snippets. And this story I found online while I was looking for some books to read. And it's a story about paper shapes. I thought it looked very cool. And it's t also talking about kindness. So I thought I would read you this story called Snippets. Now the author, she's also the illustrator and her name is Diane Alber. And I got permission to read this to you and to also post her um, website and to also post um, a link to her stuff, uh, the things that she sells, and I'll post it down below on a link. Um, she was very excited that I was happy and excited about her book. She also has a series of other books. Um, she talks about feelings and all kinds of things. So, you know, she even reads these stories herself, so it's kind of fun. So, Snippets, a story about paper shapes. This is a story about a strange little place where two shapes of a paper filled up where a pa two where two shapes of paper filled up the whole space. Triangles and squares would all wait in line to make a home in the same pattern design. Each house like the other all so mundane. Not a chimney, a shingle, or long window pane. Now mundane, mundane just kind of means uh, it's all kind of boring because it all is the same thing. Mundane just means it's predictable, it's the same. So all of these houses were mundane, meaning they all are the same, they're predictable. There's nothing different about them. Then one afternoon, after new shapes were made, a snippet showed, too, in an aqua blue shade. But because Snippet had an oddly shaped top, he looked a bit different from a normal rooftop. Hey, do you see Snippet? There's Snippet. See how he's different than these? He has a different shape than those guys. He was very shy, but he wanted to play. So he asked the shapes, What are you making today? We make sturdy houses, announced the red square. Asymmetrical shapes belong right over there. Because we are different, it's best we're divided. We just can't risk having our houses lopsided. So, because he doesn't fit in, they're telling him he has to go over here in this pile. Because he, he doesn't fit in. Snippet wasn't expecting to be asked to leave, and was shocked that Square was being naive. Naive just means, like, what? You don't understand. He could build a strong house and be part of a pair even though he was not like a regular square. Not wanting to argue, he walked over to the pile and noticed each shape had a distinctive style. They were all snippets. They were just like him. Some sides were long and some shapes were slim. He was so excited by such a surprise. There were so many shapes of irregular size. Come on, they all said, jump right into the pile. So Snippet dove in with a bright, gleaming smile. 
he had found people that were just like him. Well, not people. Shapes. And even though Snippet really loved the new space, he just couldn't forget that strange, tidy place. Deep down in his heart, being divided felt wrong. He just wanted to see all the shapes get along. As he stood thinking, an idea came to mind. What if he went back and tried to be kind? Hmm, those shapes weren't very kind to him, were they? So he's going to go back and see if he can be kind to them. To that misguided square with the perfect physique means his body is perfectly square. He has perfect sides. Remember a square has four equal sides and this shape does not. He could show him the beauty of being unique. When Snippet arrived, Square started to grumble. Why are you back? You'll make our houses crumble. This was Snippet's big chance to make Square truly see all the wonderful things they could possibly be. Snippet pointed to the roof's acute angle and said I could make a tall chimney on that green triangle. Snippet saw Square start to fill up with doubt and knew it'd be best to act it all out. So that means he was going to show him. Now an acute triangle means it's a 90 degree so it's like this. That's what that means. So it's right there. So he is going to show him what he would look like as a chimney. Okay. So he climbed on the triangle and said, How's this look? Square watched carefully, but the house never shook. It's not falling down and it doesn't look bad. In fact, it looks great. So what else can we add? Actually, said Snippet, we could add some more. There's a rectangle snippet for a fancy front door. Is it okay if I ask the pile to play too? Square happily agreed, only expecting a few. But the whole pile showed up to come over to play, and to Square's huge surprise, they had such a fun day. The houses that they made had never looked so grand. It was just as wonderful as Snippet had planned. Squares, triangles, and Snippets all getting along, they'd made a great place where they all could belong. Long rectangles made houses that reached up so high. A pentagon-shaped rocket could fly in the sky. A right triangle made a red sail on a ship. It was amazing to see such close partnership. They all learned so much from each other that day that regardless of shape they could happily play. And to think it was just one snippet's kind heart that joined them together to make such great art. right there. Okay, so we have, I want to show you this picture on the back. So look at all of the fun houses that got made with all of the shapes. All of the shapes got together and made these fun looking houses and they didn't all look so perfect and symmetrical and 
all just the same, right? They didn't. And it took one snippet to go and be kind to everybody. So this story is about being kind and having the bravery and the courage to go go and be kind when when it's a little bit hard because sometimes sometimes it's hard to be the first person to be kind when somebody's not being nice to you. So be brave and be kind and show people that you have a kind heart and you can include everyone. So you could go check out her other things and look in the link below that I'll put in this video and she has some really fun stuff. So have a good day.